Welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me in another episode in Satisfactory Guys. This is episode 7 of our little green playthrough here. Uh, I did some work as you can well see. It's been something like six and a half hours since I recorded the last episode and you can tell by these numbers, okay? Because we're making one per minute, so 330, yeah, mm-hmm, six hours and a half. Well invested, that man. That one goes to the nitrogen in there. So we got the nitrogen gas in here. Uh, let's begin with the beginning. Simple stuff, okay? I put 50 of those berries in there because we're gonna need them. Soon enough, don't tell me it's getting night. Oh my god, it's getting night. Jesus Christ. Okay, increase the caterium in here. Put another five of these mojigis because we didn't have enough. Now we have enough. This one is kind of staying like that. It didn't get down. Uh, that's the calculation. We're making 650 right now. So an excess of uh, what? 1.39. Good with math. The state, but I'm good with it. Sink, just to sink all the excess in here. We have some excess for the sheets. Uh, we're gonna kind of run out of those because we need something like four more per second. But I'm thinking to cut the number of berries down that we're making. By the way, did you know that we're making berries in there? Uh, two blenders took one of that sulfur uh, nodes in there and make, made it happen. Uh, upgraded one miner just to put up, I don't know, something like 60 more bauxite, and it's happening in there. We have two blenders working full time. They're grabbing some of these casings and bring the berries in here. We need them to build God knows what. Something in there. Uh, this boy upgraded. We're making seven high speed connectors per minute. Uh, this boy stayed kind of the same where I upgraded. I don't remember. I think we are making less than. 562 these guys in here are the same uh they're making the 50 circuit boards it's enough for us uh these four assemblers in here guess what they're making 30 heat sinks the copper sheets in there all that amazing line doing them in the silica uh, in the aluminum from here we're making them, okay? Send into this blender in here with the gas and the motors. Uh, both of those manufacturers are working there. We're making 20 moles per minute. It's amazing. It's working just fine. We're making a bunch of cooling systems. We got some in storage. Some of them are being used to make fused modular frames, okay? With the gas and with the casings, uh, we're making two per minute. Have some storage. They're going in there for the thermal rockets. This boy here is making the turbo moves. Didn't feel like dragging a million lines, so I put boxes in here. Um, the rubber is coming from the main line, but these guys are just from the boxes in here. Okay, just put some boxes. We got the motors in. Uh, we got the ready control units. Not enough for burn. One per minute. One thermal. Ter Jesus Christ. Thermal rocket per minute. We have 230. Good. We're gonna need a thousand. So we need another 800, 800, uh, 1600, uh, 2000 module engines. We have in there 620, 650. Let's see how it's sitting that with me. Oh my God, it's so dark. Sorry about that guys. How are we doing in here? Oh, okay. Give me all those. They should start pumping. Grab them. Okay, small box. Well, not put a big one. Let's leave it like that. Okay. Uh, radio control units were in here. Yep. Let's do the same engine in here. Motors, I don't think it's needed for the time being. Uh, this guy's one turbo motors. We're gonna need a thousand. So, 800 more, let's say. 800, 800 moles. We got 15 there. So, 750, right? 1,000 and a half. We got 1,100 in there. Uh, I think we already have enough. So, this boy can chill now. 
make only 2.5. We're not gonna miss casings anymore. And we're gonna keep some crystal oscillators. That boy has been doing a great job in there with the crystal oscillators. That guy, magnetic field generators, you know it. Uh, 2.5 versatile. I let that one make only 2.5. No point in it making 7.5 because that box is kind of filled up in there. So I can increase the production because these guys we need 4,000. Okay, 3,700. If you look at that number in there, divided by 60 minutes, that's 62 hours. I'm not gonna leave this computer running for 62 hours because that's almost three days. I got stuff to do in the meantime. It's good because I can even running while edit videos, but when I'm making the videos, I cannot play two games at the same time, so I gotta shut it off. So when I'm at work or I'm sleeping, it's working, but otherwise not. I wanna increase these guys. This one, this one. Make two per minute. Issues two supercomputers in here. This one, uh, it's okay with that, okay with that, and eh, that's okay with that, okay with that, okay. But in here, we need four of those majigis. We have some in stock, but of course, they're not enough. We gotta make this one make four. So, four heavy Mario frames at this point. This manufacturer, it's already upgraded to make four. We're gonna need 30 automated wiring. That I don't think is gonna be an issue. I mean, it could become an issue, but at this point, I cannot increase the production because guess what? Power. By the way, how do you like my line? I kind of enjoy it. You know, to get that straight line in there, uh, it's not all, all the time straight, by the way, because we have machinery getting filled up in here, backing up. These boys are stopped because not consuming all those beams. Put in here more constructed to have more steel pipes being made. They kind of keeping up. All the excess from here is getting synced into one little spot. Because if I put eight sinks, they're gonna get up, get down, start up, shut down, and so on and so forth. So excess for the coal comes into that merger. Excess from the steel. Uh, two construction lines. That one goes forward. That one goes like this. Uh, the excess from this line, because we're not using it, merges with that one just to make pipes. And the excess from that one gets into this box with the coal, with the iron that is not being used. Both ingots from that line, and ore from that line, and ore from that line, they all get collected into this box. And this one, it should be a Mark 3 in here because Mark 5 is gonna do the same stuff. Up, down, up, down, up, down, don't want that. So Mark 3 can barely keep up with what we have in there. It's just fine. Made the same stuff, put a sink in here just for the ore. Occasionally we got some copper ore that is not being used. And I mean, occasionally. Right now this, this one is not powered, this belt is empty, but it, if something happens with this, in here it's getting filled up, we're gonna have issues, that's why, preventive maintenance, let's call it. At this point, uh, you see, up and down, uh, we are really close to that. So I cannot upgrade the machineries, this one is not fully charged, of course, but we get 1800 megawatts put aside let's call it like that uh i cannot upgrade it because if i upgrade those to make like two or three per minute we're talking about uh, the directive system we're talking about rockets we're talking about everything we're building here i will not have enough power to do that so we gotta have more power here guess what i did i've put um these boys are not exactly good in here because uh, rubber we're not sinking that much let's just do something in here uh, let's make it mark free yeah yeah looking on there amazing 
Now that one will kind of work. Yeah, still good. Okay, this one's working perfect in here. Uh, I already made the machinery for the, this amazing wee shower. This amazing platform here. You see, we got a bunch of fuel generators. Only a quarter of them are working. With the help of the blenders and the dilute fuel recipe, we are able to make a bunch more fuel. So I just placed in here the blenders with the water extractors, made all the piping necessary. System, how is going? Um, oil coming into this refinery, turning to heavier residue, going in these boys, well, sinking stuff, okay. Going in these boys, these guys are making fuel and comes in here. Normally these two should be on, that one, and that one shouldn't exist, and this one should be limited like, but whatever, it doesn't matter, yeah, like that, you know, so that is balanced, that is working, so these two guys were on, I put them off just to have some excess fuel to fill up all this field in here, and to have some, some fuel in here. As you can see, we have four of these buffers. They're not exactly filled up, Mister. Okay, but the genies—they're all filled up, I think. Yep. So we're gonna have something like fifty-eight, fifty-six. I don't know. It's twenty per batch. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, twenty, forty. One, two, three. Yeah, twelve. So fifty-two, fifty-four. We're gonna have 54 fuel generators working for us as soon as we start this boy up. So that one until here was what we had without those two. Now, in order to make this one work, I put in here eight blenders. Each one of them has three of those water extractors. We take in the heavy oil residue. We will take the heavy oil residue from there, mix it with the water and make the fuel. Okay, make fuel happen. Those boys are working full time, each one of them pushing a hundred fuel. They're taking 50 and a hundred water each. That boy is limited, okay, 10 and 20. So this is what those guys supply. This is the necessary for this majigi what we have here to only 240 oil. I think it's gonna be enough for our build. Let's just put it like that. When I'm gonna shut this one down, no fuel is gonna go up in there, okay? So that's why these boys are filled up with water already so that they can start making fuel. Nevertheless, I would like them to have some fuel inside before connecting that line. So I don't know exactly how to do that, but we're gonna do it. Uh, the same thing is happening with this side. These three guys are making each one 100. And that one is making 10, 20. It's mirroring the same stuff. So I think we are ready to make this happen, basically. Um, gonna have issues with the power, that's for sure. It's looking just amazing. I love those straight lines, let me tell you that. Kinda difficult to make a straight like that with a huge factory. Huge. It's big, it's not huge. But it is what it is. So, Let's begin the process. We will cut these guys from the heavy oil. Uh, put the heavy oil in here. We'll start making fuel. The fuel will be pumped through here and there. Okay, that's the ma the master plan. So I don't know. Let's let's bring in the heavy oil first, like that. Like that, it's gonna start getting into those blenders. Pretend that you didn't see that pipe going uh, in there, okay? So we're gonna have in here the heavier residue coming, these boys. These guys gotta get rid of the fuel that they have inside. They still have some heavy oil, but we don't really care about it. So, no heavy oil for you, no heavy oil, none for you. None for you, they become obsolete, okay? They're still connected to power because guess what? They are filled up with heavier residue. 
So they'll keep pushing up fuel. They'll build and they push up while these boys are getting their stuff inside in here. As you can well see, they're gonna get filled up with heavy oil and they will start producing massive, massive amounts of fuel, which are gonna be put inside here in the system. Let's call it. So, having two less fuel genies connected in here assures me that this field as it is right now will work uh, with the fuel that we have provided by these old refineries until those guys will start pumping up for real, you know, because it's gonna be a minute until they're gonna get to 50. But it's happening real fast. We are already producing. It's very good. So those boys got filled up. Those boys. Amazing. It's happening so fast. That one doesn't have hair very easily. Why, mister? Why? It's connected to the water, but not to the heavier. That's why. Idiot. Well, here you go, bud. Perfect. And we are pushing up the fuel. Just amazing. All that fuel is traveling along these pipes. And uh, of course it's too much. So we're gonna have to make this guy smart. Uh, I don't have enough copper sheets, but let's just do it like that. Okay. And now these boys will have to become marked too, just to take everything further away. Have I made that? No. Well, I don't like having those ports in there. So you will have to go away. Good stuff! We made at least a quarter of it. What do you think about this? So, these boys will still work. No matter what happens, they will have the fuel. The excess fuel being pumped out of those and the remainder of refineries is gonna get stored in here. So those batteries were not really needed. Uh, I need more pipes and more plastic, excuse me for a second. Gotta go back to the base. Okay, so we said copper sheets. A thousand, maybe? I don't know, how, how what, uh, what does it take? Two and one, so we're gonna need more copper sheets, but we recover copper sheets from that one. One when we turn it to two, so we need equal quantities of copper sheets and of plastic, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, let me sort them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and plastic. Uh, let's grab a little more because why not? We can. Maybe I have more copper sheets up there. It's a box filled up. Let's get back to it. These guys have become yellow. Uh, yeah, they don't have enough heavy oil to make that happen, which is fine. We're gonna let it be for now and continue this because, uh, believe it or not. These pipes are not good enough to transfer all that fuel in there. Their capacity is only 300. We need the big pipe with you. So let me finish making that line and these lines mark too. And I'll be right back with you guys. Yes, what? I made. All of them are made. All the important ones. So the middle and the extremities mark two on each side those guys are starting to get filled up because at this point we're making a bunch a bunch more fuel basically we're making three so 600 and 40 but you know before we were making one two three four five six seven eight uh and 8 multiplied 26, 67, 213. So, 
a little big huge difference okay that's gonna allow us to run a lot more generators and have a lot more power in here we're gonna need all that power look at how close we are stripping so we are running on batteries right okay we are consuming our batteries otherwise we wouldn't be able to make this happen because those boys this eight and this six are consuming a bunch of power this guy's still connected but guess what they won't be for long uh it's not like they were using power because they were not producing anything but it's better like this you know uh i don't think i need this secondary pipe in here so let me get rid of it real fast perfect looking a million times better well um those berries will allow me to stay here for another 10 hours basically with this elevated consumption that we have right now that was the whole idea of putting 50 of them down even the, if they were not filled up and uh, wait for those to get somewhat filled up let's say because they don't have to be exactly filled up you know we just gotta have something something like 600 700 is very good already put the poles in here everything can be connected really easily these guys are already prepared on the clock somebody somebody made the calculations in there it took a whole lot of time but it's good well i think that this is good i mean if i have 300 800 even and these guys uh we're doing pretty good here we're doing pretty good we'll wait for another four five minutes and then uh i'll connect all of these boys in here got you guys back just to see how much power we have let's look at the power now because i will not remember it so we're making six three eight three okay see you back in five minutes so it's been something like three minutes actually um these boys still have a bunch of fuel in here uh, connected them all by the way we only have green sticks around here producing a bunch of power then i looked how much yet let me just look at the light sticks you know? no red sticks amazing uh yeah we got a bunch stored just to be pumped in these pipes make sure that the guys in the middle like this one will not remain without fuel you know so it's cool we have eleven thousand nine hundred so we kind of almost doubled eleven nine and three we're making five thousand six hundred megawatts more than we did before those five thousand six hundred will be enough to let me play with that particle accelerator and that's exactly what we're gonna do because our milestone for the particle enrichment it's ready to be sent up meet you guys back at the hub so let's send this baby up uh, let's see uh milestone reach yeah the particle accelerator enables previously impossible processes such as recycling nuclear waste and converting it into plutonium as well as the generation of exotic matter a new project part enables progress to the next phase that's what we're interested in we got to make those cubes so we got to make this one and then this one now to make this one we're gonna need a lot of copper part a lot a lot of copper powder uh i don't know if this gas will be able to supply that much i mean yeah we can go until 600 with these boys i could make mark free in here i think that i will uh by the way all these miners are marked too here what do you think about that and we still haven't picked up all the nodes i think we have one which we're not using that one yep amazing so let's see this one apparently it was overclocked right now it's pushing only 400 which is good 
So basically, basically, this one is pushing 240 and that one 400. So can I put this one at 640? Let's uh, test it real fast. No, only 600. Okay. Um, how about you go back? 400. Let's see what do we need for a Mark III miner. Mark III miner coming up. And I should make it from that guy in there and get that one. Put it in there somewhere and make the copper powder. I think so. So we're gonna need three portable miners. Um, gonna recover two out of that one and destroy it. That one has to become. Yeah. Well, let's see. Ten fused Mario frames, three turbo mods, a lot of stuff. Let me get what I need in here. Be right back with you. Okay, so I have on me everything needed to make two Mark III miners. Because we're gonna need one for this production that we have in here. And another one for our copper production. We're gonna take advantage of, let's say, this node here. So let's make that one a Mark III. Let's make it push a 640. Perfect. This one. Uh, we'll have to become a Mark IV in here, of course. Let's make it like that. So you're gonna have to the push to the right any as well. Of course, all of it is getting synced. As it is right now, but... Ain't gonna be for long, you know? It's gonna stabilize it. Perfect. Now, this one, it's... Uh... Oh, we'll just uh, make it the Mark III first. Grab those for me, thank you. Unfortunately, we cannot support that. 780 is the limit of our belts. For now. I think, right? Yep, 780. All of it is getting synced. Don't want to sink it. You gotta take it away. From here. Already filled up. Amazing. How about you? Okay, perfect. Let's delete this one. One less uh, stuff to be synced, I guess. I could take that output, and I think I will. Because 640, so I can grab another 140 copper out of here, turn it in, into ingots, and uh, make it happen, you know? Because we're gonna need all that. Oops, uh, sorry. Let's go that way with this uh, copper magic and see exactly what we're gonna need because I kind of forget. Sorry. Ugh. Okay. Until there. So I think it was uh, happening in here, but they have to be first smelted. Indeed. Okay. So I gotta smelt at least 780. Cap. Uh, and I said I could have in here another 140. But I don't have the bills. It doesn't matter. It's fine. 920 divided by 30 uh, 920 divided by 30 that means 31 smelters well let me put those what have I done here let me put those and catch you guys back in a moment Thirty one. okay so I kind of put everything in place in there I made this one 780, so the excess there's an overflow should come to uh, left, yeah, why not, well, somewhat, well I'm guessing that boy gotta get filled up first, apparently it was, uh, 
Hmm, very interesting. The snap 140, or is it? That's Mark IV belt. It could be 140. Let me let me check. It. So here we have 240. And here we have 8, not 240. 6. And another 180. 660. So it's only 120. It's only 120. Well, this one can become a Mark III. One twenty means four of this, so that guy must go away. Uh, gonna let that power pole in there. We'll need it in a moment. Good stuff. So, um, mark three. I'm guessing. Let's put a container in front of it. Yeah. Actually, I would like to have them all. Let's go that way with them. Uh, mark three. And that guy gotta be a mark five. Ooh, didn't collect it, these guys. Well, excuse me for a second in here. We have in this box entry in here this 120 from here and those 780 from there. Total, it's 900 copper units. Of course, it's gonna take a minute until these guys are gonna get filled up. Uh. Where did they are filled up? Yeah, because that's Mark V, it's going really fast. Good stuff, won't you? So we have 900 coppering goods per minute. Uh, if I remember correctly, we're only going to need three constructors for that. But let me double check. So, uh, Mark V, 7, 8, right? Uh, 300, 600, 180. The rest of it has got to come from that side. Uh, I'm going to leave it to mark 5. Let's put a merger in here. I hope it took the belt. Yeah. Perfect. That will fill up that one as well. Give me that power. Okay, you boys will have to make me copper powder. Perfect, we're gonna have 150 copper powder per minute. And we have it. Just like that. Now, let's see what exactly can we do with 150 because I believe that it ain't gonna be too much. So, the copper powder was used only in the last processing here yeah, for the nuclear pasta but at least we are making it we are storing it it's gonna be fine we only need a thousand two hundred thousand so it ain't that bad right now what we gotta do is this boys we need a thousand of them so i need a th in an assembler okay so let's invent an assembler here uh, just a cote. Yep, in here should be fine. And I need, I don't want to drop bales, okay? So, there's the main issue in here. Uh, cubes, please. Thank you. We're gonna need a thousand fused modular frames and two thousand radio control units. It's gonna be a minute until I'm gonna have those. But it's good, you know why? Because we have the time. We have the time because we need another 3,600 3, of those. So that's what? Oops, wrong button. 3,600 divided by 60, that's another 60 hours. I'm gonna start messing those up and doubling them. But it's still gonna take a lot of time. So it's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. Once we're gonna have all that, I'm guessing I'm gonna put in here a particle accelerator. And uh, we're gonna start making some nuclear pasta. Okay.
Can I build it? No, of course not. I'm missing just about everything. Perfect. So this one, fuse body frames and radio control units. A thousand and two thousand. S. Let's see what I have in here. So radio control unit. I have 400. 48, 450. Still got a thousand in here, so perfect. Fuse modular frames. I have 300. So if I take those, 1, 200, uh, whatever. 100, 200, 300. Let's adjust to that one. I'll need 600 of these. So, 1, 2, Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So we're getting here 100, 200, 300. I need 600 ready control units. 100, 200. We need another 400 ready control units. Let's go grab them. I got 250, so I need another one. 50? Gonna rub them from here. Uh, 250, 300, 400. Perfect. We still have in here 950 units. Okay, so it's gonna be enough for 500 turbo models, which is gonna be enough for 500 of this. We already have 300. It's fine. That boy produces 2.5 per minute. I think I want to step it up a little more. Just to have uh, more being made for that guy and for this guy as well. And I think it's going to be just fine. You know, it's going to be fine. I think. I don't know. So, the funny part is that right now we're building almost, almost everything. For the final game okay once we're gonna start having those nuclear pasta being made which ain't gonna be that long if you ask me um we're gonna have all the parts so as soon as i'm ending up one part for example the first one i think is gonna be this thermal rockets in here um i'm gonna shut this machine right down so that I will not consume any more resources, you know. After that, we're gonna start already almost 300, you see. Oh, we're gonna finish, I don't know, nuclear pasta maybe. We're gonna shut those things then. After that, let's say, uh, well, these guys are gonna be ending up at the same time. The assembly director system and the other boy, which is down there. Magnetic field generator, they're gonna be ending last. Then comes the fun part of sinking everything we have in here. That's gonna be a chore. That's gonna be really something else. Can barely wait to start with that. Nevertheless, well, I still have to send a couple more milestones just to finish everything to say that, okay, I finished the game. And, uh, hmm. Double the production for all of these guys. Even if I double it, triple it, we're still looking at one full day, something like that. If I double it, it's gonna be one full day. Otherwise, it's, it's gonna be a lot. That's what I'm trying to say. It's gonna be a lot. So let me. The last thing we're gonna do in this episode is building one of these boys in here. So let's just do a particle accelerator in here. Is here. Give me a hundred. Supercomputer, I need 10. Oh, I think I have them. Um, I have 7, so I'll have to wait on those. Uh, the 8 is coming. Let me put you on sleep for now. Okay. Cooling system, 50. That won't be an issue. Uh, in there. Perfect. 20 fused. Perfect, 10 turbo loss. Uh, 
finally the last one has came we will be able to did I start the guy yep we will be able to build our particle accelerator in here quite curious how it's gonna be with the power after the oh, we're looking just amazing <laughs> still a little variation in power in there but it's it's fine it's fine we have a bunch of power good let's put this boy down and start eating that copper majigi uh like I think perfect you're gonna have this on me man so 100 per minute and 0 0.5 per minute well yeah whatever doesn't really matter okay uh, 100 per minute how much of this amazing stuff we are making? we're making 50 per minute so 50 of them will get stored in there but you uh, that means I can make this one like that and we're gonna consume all that copper powder and 0 0.75 out of this I'm gonna leave it at 1 because why not gonna fill these boys up as soon as I got them and uh, that is going to be it we're gonna make yeah no problem whatsoever we're gonna make one nuclear pasta per minute 0 0.7 five that means I'm gonna meet need uh wait a thousand a multiply with 0 point no point seven five that's 750 minutes that's 12 hours in yeah 13 hours Jesus Christ that's it oh it is what it is 13 hours okay I can bump that one higher only if I have more copper powder uh, so I might be able to have more copper powder if I will not be using all those although this you know these ones I'm using them for the air limiters and for the heat sinks I seem to remember that yeah so those go in here cooling systems we got a bunch i could slow that down but i want to finish them and that's it so all of it goes in here as soon as we're gonna finish with this thousand i can stop this chain of production and dedicate more copper basically for the copper production and being able to get more of these guys in there just to make Oh, I'm gonna have to keep this one running because we're gonna need more fuse module frames. Yeah, it's all interconnected. Well, when we're gonna finish, we're gonna see it. I guess into the next one. <laughs> uh, we're gonna send the last phase up, phase four, and then we're gonna start dismantling things in here, sinking them. Gotta think of a uh, feasible way to do that. In one episode, you know, it is what it is. Nevertheless, this one is long enough, guys. Thank you so much for being here for watching this. If you like it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and if you want to see more. And if by any chance you wanna think they're in there, you wanna help me on my dream of becoming a full time content creator, you can grab yourself an amazing membership. Thank you again for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of you all. Bye now.